In our opinion, if you're just starting out, then a heart rate monitor is absolutely the first port of call. In fact, I go so far as to say it's a rite of passage, part of the learning experience. Because a heart rate monitor will teach you to work to zones, teach you what each effort level feels like in different zones, and how to monitor and analyze your progress. And we'd recommend not ditching the heart rate monitor just because you start to use a power meter, as in fact, the two can complement each other. If you do the majority of your training using heart rate data and power data, you'll start to notice the correlation between the two and what's normal for you. And then if there are any changes, whether positive or negative, you'll notice them and you'll know how to react. For example, if you know what your power should be and you notice your heart rate going higher than normal, that's probably a negative sign. Or if your heart rate's starting to drop, it could be a sign of improvement in fitness. One thing is for sure, whichever method you use, make sure you do a fitness test before you do so you can use them to their full potential and as accurately as possible.